Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to say, Ka Allah, Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All praise be Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS Arkansas. Uh, stop and listen. But just fucking is true. You know, as we have been uh, allotted to do, to Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai come back. You know, we have been allotted to be servants for Yahweh by Shem Shai. When you look that word servant up, it goes into someone who performs duties for other. We're performing this duty of pushing this word out uh, for Yahweh by Shem Shai until he returns, right? Uh, it goes into a devoted and a follower, a devoted devoted and follower, uh, follower, a supporter, right? So the elect men. Lord willing, we are the elect men that have been tasked to, you know, keep being devoted and being supporters of this word because we support the scriptures and the prophecies, man. You know, we agree with them 100%, you know. And um, if you notice in the news, now the talks are, are about war, you know. You had uh, Trump got up and, and talked about having more money for the defense system. You need more money to put into the defense system, so that's a that's a red light on uh you know they get ready to go into World War Three. You got Korea and in Russia, they are constantly testing missiles, right? Constantly testing their ballistic missiles, you know. And Russia's been doing it for quite a few years because I remember a few years back they uh tested a, a, a M27. What was it called? The M27. They call it the two two Paul. Uh, missile and then they tested a uh, what was called the Balava missile which was a SS uh, 45 which was a submarine launch missile they they was testing those three four five years ago so now you got these countries hey they're more into uh, the talks are more into nuclear arms man so those are signs you know that the Lord has put Put here through the uh, through these Edomites through the left hand side for us to the elect to uh, grasp and say okay that's a sign go filter through the scriptures and then warn our own people right that the elect may hear it and wake up so we can get sealed and get out of here so we have to keep watch man that's the main thing keep keep watch you know um, and we start out the scripture. It says, uh, Matthew 24 and 42, it says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Right? The scripture says, Watch. Right? Because we don't know the hour that the Lord come. He, he don't even, Yahweh I don't even know. Only the Heavenly Father knows that the hour he's going to send his son back to set this order up, man. So we must keep watch, man. When you go into the word watch, the word watch is uh, the Greek 1127, uh, Greek Gario, meaning Strong's definition to keep awake, that is to watch literally, to be vigilant, right? Be vigilant, awake, to be watchful, right? So to be watchful is to be uh, vigilant, which goes back to the word vigilante, man, right? That's what they do. So we're 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 like like vigilantes for your house shy, man. We gotta keep watch, you know. Uh, this wind is blowing. In Strong's it says to watch to metaphorically to give strict attention, to be cautious, active. A to take heed at least through remission of indolence, some destruction, calamity sudden overtake you, right? So that, that that last definition, that's gonna be the faith of the of the two thirds, man, because they're not taking heed to the scriptures, they're not watching, right? So those calamities are gonna take take hold of them, right? So yeah, we paying close attention to these scriptures, paying close attention to the, uh, the to the news, the alternative news, and we're going into the scriptures and filtering, 
do the crops and everything so we may stay attentive, man. That's what the elect does, man. You know? And we all don't know if we're the elect, so we're striving to be part of that, that number. So that's what we're doing. You know? Damn, yeah, we in, man. So like it. Let me shut this door. Damn, yeah, we in. It's high. Locker, man. It's just part of it, you know. So yeah, we have to keep watch, brothers. That's our job as servants, man. Being devoted servants is part of that, you know. Keeping that watchful eye out for these promises, man. It's a very, very windy day. I'm gonna go into Luke, right? Twelfth chapter. I have to look up a few words, so let me pull up Luke on my phone. So probably gonna look up one or two words. Okay. This is Luke 12 and 37. It says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily, I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Right? And read that again. It says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord cometh shall find watching. So when you go into the word bless, right? Um, and look over here in the margin, it says happy. So happy are the servants whom the Lord come, they find watching. Because we, when we see these prophecies, when Esau come up and tell you uh, on the left hand side what he's doing, right? That that puts a spark of uh, 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 enthusiasm in us, man, to know that we almost out of here, man. You know, that that that's what that that's doing, man. And the servants, when it says, "Bless are those servants," the servants of who? The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man, of the twelve tribes of Israel. And out of those twelve tribes. It, it goes further and deeper. It's the elect, man. That's what this thing is about. The elect are the are the random servants right there, because they are the ones who gonna who are going to be attentive, right? Well, Gabriel, they're gonna be the ones who stay attentive and be cautious, right? And take heed to these scriptures. Take heed to the news and filter it through the prophecies, man. You know, it says. I say unto you that he shall gird himself and shall sit down to meet and will come forth and, and serve them, right? Sit down to meet, to eat, right? How do you do that, right? When you sit down to eat, well, you're supping, right? It says with him, supping with Yahweh Shai. How do you do that? We hear the prophecies and what? We filter through the scriptures, man. That's how we, that's how we, we search through the scriptures and that's what the elect gonna do. That's how we, um, that's how we're sitting down to meet with your house, boss, and your shot, man. And we're gonna come forth and serve him, right? We're gonna do, we're gonna do what these law, statutes, commandments are telling us to do to the best of our ability, man. We're gonna be that, that servant that's, that's supportive, devoted. Right? Verse 38. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them and find them so blessed are those servants. Right? So if he come in that, that second or third watch and find them and find them uh basically being attentive, right? Then it's gonna be uh Happy gonna be them servants. Blessed gonna be favor shown to them servants, right? Because back in the ancient world, you used to, when you have watches, you have a certain man would go out and watch and guard to see uh, when the enemy would come. He would warn the people when he saw something, right? Now we doing it on a spiritual level. We, we have men that go out on the highways and byways. We sit down and we filter through the news and we filter through the scriptures. Then we go out and warn our people. We on watch, you know? 
that watch started with Albert Bivens. It was passed on down to uh, Masha and, and Yaquab and Arya now El Tahar. He's been on watch like 32, 33 years. And the apostles, uh, the Bard, Rakan, them, they've been on watch like 28, you know, 28, 29 years. So that watch is being passed down. All the way down to the to the men that's coming in yesterday or today or tomorrow, man. You, you going on watch, man. You know, and, and faith will be shown if you if you paying attention and you be on watch when Yahweh Shah come back. Verse thirty nine, and this I know, and this and Salaki, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come. He would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through, right? So, he says, if the good man of the house would have known what hour the thief would come, right? He would not, he would, he would have watched. So, these, these cats out here, Jake and them, if they actually knew what time the Lord would come, right? If they knew the Lord was coming next Friday, guess what they would be doing? They would be in these scriptures. They would be uh, uh, reading these prophecies. They would be calling on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They would be they would be doing everything that these scriptures have put forth for us to to live a, a, a certain manner of of life, man. They'd be doing it to the T if they knew the Lord was coming. So for them not knowing, that's why they're going to continue. The, the scripture says he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Right? So they're not watching. So they're the ones who are going to be broken through. These two thirds, man. You know? So, hey. That's why the scripture says he that overcometh, man. Endure to the end. You know? It says, verse 40, Be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man coming at an hour when ye think not. So it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be, he said, when an hour when you think not, man. These people going to be out here uh, just having a good time, you know. It's going to be like, hey, it's going to be like, to them it's going to be like, this place is just the best place to be in that particular time and the Lord is going to come through man he's going to come like that thief man he's going to come like that thief man and then America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction man that's said the Lord man that's said the Bible man you know that's said the Lord that's said the Bible you know I'm going to read that again this is uh and this is called the parable of the uh, expected steward. That's the, that's the name of this parable. It says, uh, Luke 12 and 37, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. We know that to be the elect. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to eat, to meet. Right? Right? to sup with him, meaning what, to, to uh, search the scriptures, and will come forth to serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. So if he come, when he come, those servants who are doing the will of the Heavenly Father, who are doing the work, right? Favor gonna be shown to them when the Lord come back. He says, in, in this note, if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched. So the two thirds, if they if they knew what time the Lord would come back, they would actually be in these scriptures, reading these scriptures, uh, looking for the signs. They would be in the scriptures, going through these prophecies, right, and filtering it through the scriptures. And then they would be listening to the men of the Lord, the apostles, the elders. They would be be uh, uh, focused in on, on what they got to say, and other men of the Lord. They will be focused, man. And it says, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken through. Right? 
Because when a thief go through a house, man, he makes it desolate, man. He tears it up. And that's what the Lord going to do. He's going to tear America up, man. This is y'all's house, man. America, man. He's going to tear it up, man. It says, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. So the Lord going to surprise y'all. He's going to come. He's going to come when you least expect it, man. Y'all going to be having a jolly old good time in America. And then the Lord going to come, man. With thermonuclear destruction, man. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible, man. You know? Hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Hey, a peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hope this short lesson was, you know, edifying, you know, through the spirit, man. Brothers, keep pushing. We're almost out of here, man. Shalom.